Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today I am going to share with you the cutest craft you can make using eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Stay tuned. Welcome to my crafty YouTube home. I am so glad that you decided to stop by today and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the awesome ways that you support me and you support my channel. You help to make it possible for me to get up every day and do this. I love doing this and I love sharing it with you. So thank you so much for all of your support. In a recent video, I shared this paper with you. Now for this project, you don't need this paper, but it is the paper that I'm going to be using today. It's eight and a half by 11. A lot of you have eight and a half by 11 inch papers that you have purchased elsewhere and that's fine. You can use those for this project, but this is going to give you another way to use those eight and a half by 11 inch papers. And if you don't have eight and a half by 11, but you have 12 by 12s, you can simply cut them down to eight and a half by 11 and you can make this project exactly as I'm going to be demoing. And I am going to go ahead and grab today's project because this is what we're going to be making. With just three pieces of eight and a half by 11 inch paper, you can make this beautiful box. It's a very large box and I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute. But y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Y'all, here's a closer look at today's awesome project. When finished, it measures six and a half by four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And it is so super cute and so easy to make. I'll go ahead and give you a look at the inside so you can see how deep that is. And like I said, for today's project, again, I'm going to be using this beautiful blue poinsettia paper, but you can use any paper that you have, and this is truly one of those any season, any reason, anyone crafts. So if you need a nice size box, oh, for let's say a mug, and you want to fill that mug with some goodies, all you have to do is add some shredded paper to this box, put your goodies in, put your lid on, and you are good to go. So here's what we're going to need to make it. So I have three pieces that are in the Blue Poinsettia Paper Crafting Kit. I'll have that link below for those of you who might be interested and getting the same look. So I have three pieces of eight and a half by 11. And then I've decided to add some reinforcement pieces to my box. So I have one piece that measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I have four pieces that measure six and a half by four and seven eighths. That is all that we need for this project. This part of the project is totally optional. You can make a usable box with just this. So if you have 12 by 12 paper, Go ahead and cut it down to eight and a half by 11. And on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at four and seven eighths. And nine and three quarters. And then we turn it to the eight and a half inch side and we score at two and a half. So on that second piece on the 11 inch side, we score at four and seven eighths and at nine and three quarters. Then on the eight and a half inch side, we score at two and a half. So now we're going to fold and burnish all of our scores. All right, so now that we have our scores folded and burnished, we're going to remove this corner piece right here. So I'll just angle in here at the bottom to remove that piece. And then I'll cut straight across on the score mark to remove that piece. And then here in the middle, I will just do an angle on both sides of the score mark. And there's piece number one. We do the same thing here. We're going to remove this corner piece. So go ahead and angle in and cut straight across here. And then we are going to angle and angle here. So now we have the pieces we need to put the box together. It's very simple. We take this piece and we're going to join it to this piece and then we connect the whole box. So I am just going to take my glue 
because if I did want this box to hold a mug or something heavy like that, I like to use glue because I like the staying power that it gives me. So now I'm just going to take this piece and join it to this piece. I do have a little bit of wiggle room to be able to pick it up to make sure that I have it placed properly. So let's go ahead and get that nice and stuck. You can open it and stick it like that. So your piece is going to look like this. Then we can take some glue And so now we can take the rest of our box and just join it together. Like this, getting it nice and stuck. I can go on the inside now and get that stuck. So there is the box. I am going to take these two sides and fold them in and add just a little bit of glue right there. And then I'll add a little glue here, not a lot. We'll fold that over and then I'll add my glue here. We'll fold this over and now I just need to stand it up to get it squared like that. And I'll use my bone folder. So now I'm going to take the piece that measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters, add some glue, and we're going to put that in the bottom just to firm that up a little bit. So now we have a firmer base on the bottom of our box. I'm going to set that to the side, and we're going to bring in the four pieces that measure six and three eighths by four and seven eighths and we're going to score at half an inch. This part is optional, but it just gives us a firmer box without adding chipboard. So now we can take this and give a nice little burnishing to that fold. And I am going to put these in with tape. So first, let's take our piece and let's do a test fit to make sure that it folds over the side and it goes in. Looks like we have a good fit. So I am just going to take some tape and just place some tape on all of my pieces. So now we can take those pieces and just put them in, get them nice and stuck. We put them in on all four sides. And so y'all, there's our box. We need to make the lid. So I'm going to bring in that piece that measures eight and a half by 11, and we're going to cut it down to seven by seven. And then we're going to score at half an inch. And one on all four sides. So that's half an inch. And one. So now we're just going to fold and burnish all of these scores. And so to make the lid, we are going to remove these three corner pieces all together. So we go up to that second score mark and we cut through the middle of that score mark. Then you can angle, angle, and remove this piece and remove that bottom piece. We do this on all four sides. So go to the second score mark, cut straight down, angle, angle, 
angle and reduce. And if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber to my channel, if you like what you're seeing, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If not, thank you for being here. I hope you'll come back and watch some more fun paper crafting videos. So now that we have our piece that looks like this, we have two pieces on which we've already cut angles on this outer edge. We need to do the same thing on the other two. So just make sure all four edges or outer pieces have that angle cut because it just makes it easier to put your box together. Now I'm going to take some glue. We'll place some glue on our tabs and put this little lid together. So I'll join my corners, making sure that I get them nice and crisp. I'll do the same thing over here, getting those corners nice and tight. Now I can go in with my bone folder and get that stick. We'll do the same thing here. Go in with my bone folder, make sure I have a nice stick. And we'll do the same thing on this one. Now I'm going to fold back these outer pieces because we are going to add some glue to them and then we'll fold them in. So I'm just going to add some glue to that top piece. You can use tape on this lid if you like. So now that I have that glue there, I'm going to fold over stand it up, go in and get it stuck. And y'all, we do this all the way around. And so I'm just going to go all the way around to make sure that I have a really good stick on all of these fold over panels. So there's my lid. Let's bring in the box for the moment of truth. And as you're able to see, we have a really nice fitting lid. Now, one thing that I noticed that I did on this one that I didn't do on this one, I actually gave the lid a little more depth to it on this one than I did on this one. So it's a deeper lid as you can see there. So if you want a lid this size, I will have the measurements for that linked in the description box. You can just go out and take those measurements and have this lid size here. But no matter which lid size you choose, these measurements will give you a very beautiful and functional box to be able to use. Like I said, I reinforced mine using some additional pieces of paper, but if you want, you can place a chipboard base in the bottom. The sides, when you double up on the paper, it does become very sturdy but if you're going to place something in the bottom, maybe as heavy as a mug, I would put chipboard in the base just to make sure that it doesn't bow. But look at how gorgeous these are. If you want this look, I'll have the papers linked in the description box below. If not, guys, use your papers. You have gorgeous papers that you've invested in, whether they're eight and a half by 11, eight and three quarters by 11, 12 by 12, whatever the larger sizes are that you have invested in, go ahead and use them make something as beautiful as this for any season, any reason, any one. Y'all, thank you so much for being here today and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.